Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. KISW, The Rock of Seattle. All right, we need to address a very ugly rumor. Uh-oh. Okay. What happened? I mean, we need to right a wrong here. I don't know if you guys heard. There's a rumor going around that the writer of The Electric Slide recently revealed that the song is about uh, a B.O.B., battery-operated boyfriend. What? Yeah, that's what they're saying. So it's not? Yeah, it's a, in other words, it's like vibranium for all you Avengers and Captain America fans. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Now, the writer's name is Bunny Whaler. Great name, by the way. That's a great name for a battery-operated boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to think that she doesn't have the right? name that would lead you to believe that's what she was thinking of with the electric slide. Ladies, try the uh, new and improved Bunny Whaler. Oh, wait, Bunny's you a now heat. need four D batteries yeah, to make this work. Yeah, Bunny's a dude. Oh. oh. Well, it doesn't mean Bunny can't still whale. With the no, you're not wrong. How would you like to see my Bunny Whaler? There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Yeah, I saw somebody post this on Facebook, and of course, I made no effort to click on the link to read about it. I just saw the headline, and I'm like, most Americans, we believe the headlines. Yeah. I was like, oh, so it's about a a vibrator. Cool. Yeah. So it's not now. And so Bunny says, at no time have I ever lent credence to a rumor that the song was inspired by anything other than a very cool song by Eddie Grant, Electric Avenue. Oh. How about that? That's what inspired Electric Slide, Electric Avenue. Could we track down the Electric Slide? I'm just curious why somebody would think that that would be a song about um, uh, an adult toy. Yeah, I, I, all I know is isn't aren't, is that Boogie Woogie? Is that that song? Boogie you Woogie. Can't, uh, oh, I'm it's thinking electric. something else. Boogie, 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 boogie. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's electric. Yeah. Boogie Woogie. Yeah. I like your dance you just did while you said yeah. that. You like that? Huh? <laughs> Kept your hands in your pockets and you leaned in. Woo! That's I don't even. Yeah, I can't do the electric slide. And no. I, if you asked me, I would have thought Electric Avenue came after Electric Slide. I didn't know that it was inspired by Electric Avenue by Eddie Grant, which is a. I love that song. Walk down to Electric yeah. Avenue. Oh, I love that you song. Can take me. Hi. It's electric. All right. Okay. Let's see if there's a vibrator in here. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh yeah. How do you do it? How do you do it, Steve? I, dude, I suck at this. I hate I when they know. do this at the weddings. Oh, no. BJ's old man dancing. The old man. You can't see it. Well, it's electric. It's, it's electric. It's electric. Oh, it's totally about a... Ooh, it's Yeah, is he... Is he come on, bunny. I was going to say, if your bob is electric... And shocking, yeah. Then you probably should change the batteries or get a new one. Okay, so you're it shouldn't saying shock you, unless you're, you get a special one. You're the expert. Yes. So, uh, do you believe this is about a vibrator? I pr- probably is where they got the inspiration from. Oh, Everyone wow. has a dirty mind. They Vicky just, says whether yes. they're not, they admit it. They do. All right. You can't see it. It's electric, but you can feel it. It's electric. <laughs> yeah, bunny. Those words. She's, oh, it's shaking. It's electric. Just talking about electricity, man. Yeah. Uh, She's a pumping like a matic. <laughs> She's oh. moving like electric. Never mind. She sure got the boogie. Look, boogie, 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 boogie. I mean, seriously, if you know, if we can, and we know that the vapors turning Japanese was a song about that. We know that Cool Jerk is a song about about you know basically taking care of business. You know, uh, let's go to one of the later verses on the song. BJ. Yes, are you coming with me? Come, let me take you on a party ride, and I'll teach you, teach you, teach you. I'll teach you the electric slide. All right. Wow. It's about something, dude. It's about something sexy. I love this man. You know, here's what he here's what he says. To state otherwise that this is nothing more than uh, an inspiration from Eddie Grant's Electric Avenue, he says, to state otherwise is a falsehood and offends my legacy, the legacy of singer Marsha Griffiths, and tarnishes oh, the reputation of a song beloved by millions of fans the, the world over. The legacy of a song yeah. called The Electric Slide. You know, he protests so much on this that I'm like, yeah, dude, you know exactly what you were doing. The legacy of great lines like Boogie Woogie woogie, jiggle on Metakara, she's pumping like a matic. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a great legacy. You're right, Bunny. Those 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 lines, man. Uh, they need to be preserved in the halls of virtue forever. This is awesome. This makes me like the song. Now I want to do the dance. Do you want to do the dance now? Yeah. No. I don't know why I keep doing the new kids on the block dance when they do like the like thing. Hey, you tough. Hey, I can do yeah. that one. Maybe yeah. we should. Can I do it? That's terrible, DJ. What are you doing? You're Come on, Nikki. Oh. I think I'm doing it. Oh, I think I heard something. People can't see this, but... Danny, I'm doing it! This is the whitest dance party ever. <laughs> I can't deny that, Rev. White dance party. Oh, my God. I did not know this Friday morning I would bust out the new kids on the block hanging tough dance. Oh but my I God. did. Congratulations, sir. Now, I would During like... the electric slide. <laughs> Do you, can you find the, oh, can you find Electric Avenue and can we find the lyrics to Electric Avenue? Because here's the thing. What if Electric Avenue is about a vibrator? So then the guy is basically giving us a giant MacGuffin or red herring going, it is not about a vibrator. It's about Electric Avenue. Which could be a song about a vibrator. I don't think Electric Avenue is about a, a, a vibrator. Since down in the street there's violence and lots of work to be done. Almost down in the street is that. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's taken oh, higher. Electric Avenue. I love this. Song. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think this one's about a vibrator. Ah, oh, damn it! Hey, working like a soldier. So he says, "I love the fact that this song is played at every wedding reception everywhere." Talking about electric slide. Yeah, and like grandmas are doing the electric slide. Oh yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, I really do hope it's about that. Uh, you, I'm sorry, but after seeing those lyrics, I, I, I just can't believe it's not about that. I want to know what those she's pumping like a matic and, and, and you know, I'll, and you'll feel the feeling. What is he talking about? The electricity in yeah, the air, please. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and the electric slide, I mean, it, it, it's come on. Do, do we have to spell it out for the guy who's trying to deny that it's not about that? Oh, and it tarnishes Marsha Griffiths. What are you talking? Marsha Griffiths has come up with the greatest uh, vocals for a song that makes everybody happy. Why wouldn't you take? I'd say, look. Why not? Well, not everybody wants to brag about it, maybe. Uh, we need to start talking about stuff that brings pleasure instead of just bragging about stuff that makes people miserable. Don't we? Deep, like, bro. Deep, man. <laughs> Let love rule. Hey, it's as deep as the electric slide, if you know what I mean. No. <sighs> Too soon? Okay. I just need some water, man. All that oh, yeah. dancing. Yeah, you, yeah, you You're were so sweating, man. I can yeah. see it off yeah. the yeah. your head. Yeah, my yeah. bald spot's glistening. Yeah. And my bald spot, my entire head. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that sounded really wrong. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. Point nine K I S W The Rock of Seattle. <laughs> I it's I, it's got to go home. It's not that funny, guys. It I mean, is funny. It's not at all. It's, I'm it's talking it's, to spam it's bots. Courtesy. I'm being courteous. Grandpa, to don't talk to spam bots. <laughs> what is going on, Rev? So I'm looking over there, and he's like, "Yeah, this person just cursed me out." And I'm like, "What's going on?" He's like, oh, "I've been writing these people on Facebook that are friend requesting me," and I'm looking at them, and he's like, "I don't even know who this person is. They're in Houston, and they got like these weird names, and they don't have like they're they're spam bots, basically. <laughs> like one person's name was it's Ella Nice." Yeah, so it's well, Ella. Here's the problem is he's got a friend who's uh, not using his real name on there, the It's All Good, so he just thinks okay, but everyone dude, is saw there. this Facebook page. And so he's like, I don't understand why they're not. And then the person, friend requests him and writes, hello, dear. Yeah. And oh, so hi, dear. So yeah. he's engaging with all these spam bots, and he's wondering why. And he's like, she this called is so me annoying. Dear. She called me dear. I'm like, oh, how do you know me? And then we got to a big fight. You gotta do a big fight with a spam bot. Yeah, he's pissing off these phishing accounts. Yeah, I'll oh, that's show even them. better. If they're trying to fish to get info, they're not getting it from me, buddy. Well, good. Waste their time so they don't waste mine. Exactly. This is fantastic. I'm taking them down one spam at a time. I'm sure. You're like one of my buddies from college. He came to town. This is back when MySpace was going on, and he just recently just got uh, hair implants. And he was just telling me about how like just things have gotten better since I've gotten these hair implants. Oh, I'm like, really? Oh, oh, really? He's like. 
dude, you don't even know. On MySpace, I've got all these hot chicks that are friend requesting me, and it's just like, and I'm like, dude, these are fake. <laughs> you know, this is like <laughs> what they do. You get these fake accounts that request. No, no, man, I never got these when I was bald. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he's right. got hair. Yeah, all of a sudden, right. it's Ella Good or it's Ella Nice, whatever yeah. the hell her name is. <laughs> it's friend requesting me on here. See, now you know the truth. See, and, and you know what? It's all because of my sparkling personality. Are you expecting any money from Nigeria anytime yeah. soon there, BJ? Well, listen, buddy, I'm royalty. It's going to happen. Okay. That's going to happen. That is so funny. Hey, look, You're man. You're pissing I, off the spam box. The, here's the, pro- the problem is, is that I get a lot of friend requests anyway, but mm-hmm. Facebook only lets you have like a, a, a limited amount. So, right. I, so I have to tell everybody, look, I got no more room anymore, so sure. go, go check out the real BJ Facebook page. And I, and I write, and they you know I have a nice little, but it's a boilerplate. No, no, but I send it to everybody. Sure. I go, hey, it's Ella. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Johnny. Right. Boom. I hey, don't know. Porn robot. I have no idea if they're porn robots or not. I don't know. Because, you know, I you can kind of tell right away. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if what? you click on their link and it says, I like sending nudes, that yeah, person well, typically is not real. I don't go that far. I just I just quickly just, I go, I click on the name, hit a message and go. I don't even look at their page. I just, it, I, I got to go quick. I get a lot of friend requests. What I like to do is whenever I get the friend request of like some obvious porn bot and it says, you have two mutual friends. I instantly think, which two of my friends are morons? <laughs> and I find out. Oh, I never thought of that because that's why I figure I because they all have mutual friends of mine. Well, then that means your your your, your friends are so hard up to have a hot chick request oh, them as a friend. Damn it! See, I, I, I friend I don't I mean I can't friend request anybody anymore. I ran out of space, so I just yeah. now I got to send these damn letters. I just wish Facebook would let me have unlimited friends, and it would be so easy to just oh hundred percent. I, 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 I would let everybody be my friend. What do I care? But I can't. I got no more room, man. Send Sorry. nudes. Sorry, it's Ella. Yeah. So I, it's Ella can't be my friend. It's Ella good. <laughs> you don't think she's real? It's Ella nice. <laughs> yeah, Ella nice, Ella good. Somebody's good. Somebody's nice. Well, I got to tell you about these folks at Binsider. Bin it's a great magazine. You ought to check it out. So uh, the folks at Business Insider took a break from uh, Insider Business to talk... Um, uh, and, 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 and they didn't want to talk business anymore. They wanted to throw together a list of the most rewatchable movies. It's a little weird, but I guess, you know what? I can, I can see the business of this because if a movie's rewatchable, uh, then there's a lot of profits that can be done. Sure. You know, people will pay the movie companies a lot of money, like, you know, the Netflixes or whatever, because they want to have it in their stable. So I can see where that, you know, it has a business angle. So here we've got the list of the top 25 most rewatchable movies Ooh. and wow office i space. i am surprised dude office space is not in the top 25 i have to tell you man waiting i, I am surprised <laughs> you know, you, you know, none of your movies are going to make it those are the two that i've watched beer fest waiting super troopers office space oh i apologize office space is number 23 i would hope yeah, man yeah yeah there you go my bad rocky I doubt Rocky's on there. No, it's, Rocky's not very rewatchable, if you ask me. You have to really love that movie. Yeah. Because it's slow, but I love the movie. Miracle, but I'm sure that's not on there. Um, I think I just, I think I saw, did I see Miracle? Miracle? I no, I didn't, I don't think I saw Probably saw like Miracle on Stupid Something Street. Yeah. <laughs> Miracle on Stupid Something Street. That is not on the list either, my friend. It's a sequel. Uh, can anybody take a shot at what's number one? Titanic. I, um, Yuck. Whoa. God, Danny. Not on the list. Yeah. How, how many, so do you rewatch at least once a year, Danny? I'd watch it like at least once a month. Okay. Then. Once a month? Oh, yeah. You know how it ends. That one in Forrest Gump. I can watch those movies any time of day. I will not argue with you about Forrest Gump. When yeah. that's on, I will watch it. Yeah. yeah. I don't watch either one of those movies. That's mm. interesting. Gremlins. Gremlins. Steve, you are not right, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, the Goonies then. The Goonies. Great Ricky, call. You are not right, ma'am. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm looking here. It's hard. It's 23, so I'm trying to look at them on, and I don't think I see either one of those. What you said, Rev? If, if you if you see that I get one wrong, please let me know. Um, no, I, this is. I'm telling you, I am shocked by this list. Mm. I really, really am. Um, some of the things on here, I'm like, wow, really? Gringo. Gringo. I just watched it on. <laughs> the hell hand. is that? It was really good. What is it? It's a movie about a guy who does stuff and gets in trouble. With Why would people. you call that rewatchable? Then, if you kind of you're, you're even you watched you have, it twice, you have a lackluster. It's because you fall asleep during these things. No, my wife fell asleep on that one. Yeah, this so I paused count. it and waited until she woke back up. See, that's not watching it twice. Really. It was good, dude. It's on demand right now. Okay, watch it. I'm come not, back to me. I am not going to come back to you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you the number one because none of you geniuses can figure this out. It's it's. I'll, I'll think holidays. Grease two. 
Gre- yeah, Danny. Thank you. Big holidays. Grease two is the one. No, it, he's right. <laughs> Every day. Working like- with complete morons. <laughs> Every day is a holiday when Grease is on. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with this list. Holidays. Are such okay. morons. Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> That's not the right holiday. <laughs> Jesus. No. Nobody calls Halloween Independence oh, Day. Yeah. Independence Day. Come on. It's a holiday. Is it okay. Elf? Is it Alf? Elf. Oh, Elf. Okay. <laughs> Clean your ears, Grandpa. All right. No, it's not. It's, no, it's not Elf. It's a holiday movie, and everyone watches it during. Not the as much as this one. Oh. Which is okay. the? Which? Well, come on. Everybody watches this holiday movie. Are Elf. You, Fourth Jesus. of July. Born on the Fourth of July. My God. Ooh, die Hard. Groundhog Day. Okay, first of all, Groundhog you Day and Steve is... are both trolling me. Wait, and Groundhog Vicky's Day's on the list. It's on the list. It's 17. number seventeen. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right, you win, Danny. <laughs> but it's not the holiday. I'm looking for number one, and it's not the holiday I'm looking for. Valentine's Day. Oh, you guys know. Come on. Why are you trolling me? Because it's really fun now at yeah. this point. Ooh, okay. night before Christmas. Holiday. Okay, so you want me to just tell you. I want you to win, but nobody wants to win here. None of you want to no, win. Do you only win when I lose? Is that what it is? The Santa Claus. No, it's not. The, the Santa, Santa Claus Santa Part Claus. 2. Oh, yeah. That's it, Steve. Santa Claus Part 2, number one. Backed up by Pootie Tang and then that other stupid movie, Gringo. There you go. The top three most You, you haven't even movies. seen it. You don't know if it's stupid or not. I know you're stupid and you liked it. Therefore, that movie, unfortunately, is a stupid movie. Yeah, the math check's out there. Yeah. Shut yeah, up, yeah. Rev. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hot comeback. Bad Santa. Bad, you know, in my house, yes. You're absolutely right. No, it's a Christmas story. Ralphie, how do you, or you guys knew that and you were just trolling me, right? You don't think that, you don't I've think that's the most important? Well, no. That, it. What? Yeah. Wow. Do you not have television on during Christmas? Because yeah, it's on like every network. I do like Netflix. How did you oh. not see that? Because parents, oh, you'd love that movie. I, probably. I mean, I know all the jokes. I guarantee that she would love that. You know movie. why she doesn't know that movie? Why? Well, I, I mean, first of all, I, I, here's the thing: your generation, Steve, which is ten to fifteen years younger than me, your generation were the ones that discovered it, loved it as kids. Which means your parents, where you know they showed that to you. Her generation is my kids. And I never saw that movie. It wasn't in my wheel. It wasn't in my radar. Huh. So I never watched it. Therefore, my kids. So what never was the big it. Christmas movie for your weird world? Oh, Home Alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Good the movie. that's the big one. Yeah, there's She's a lot. Right. There's a lot of stuff, and I think it's a cultural thing, like that I didn't get to watch that everyone else did. So I'm kind of oh, in this right. weird kind of because your parents, your parents, did your parents come from Mexico. Yes, they did. Yeah, so that that's the tough thing for you. You did, you know, you because of that, you got a lot of mixed stuff going on, and you miss yep. some stuff. Yeah, uh, Home Alone is not on this list. That's bizarre. Because I feel like that's like super rewatchable. Sharknado. Um, yes. Sharknado's the one. Number two, I'll see if you agree with this, Back to the Future. Nice. The yes. first one. The first. Yes. You know, when I was younger, I did watch that movie a lot, so I could understand that. I did too, and yeah. then I, I stopped. It's one of the few movies that I got on, on Blu-ray, because yeah. I can just put it in and watch it over and over again. Matter of fact, the top four movies are all from the 80s. That's really, really interesting. I'll give you a clue. The uh, number three movie features Tom Hanks. And oh, the Bachelor 80s. Party. Uh, <laughs> is that from the... Yeah, probably is from the That's 80s. from the 80s, man. That's not very... Uh, Joe versus was, the Volcano. Yeah, Ooh, that's not very, yeah. Come, are you being serious and you don't... You, Bachelor Party's freaking awesome. Okay, you're being serious. Well, that's not, mo- that's not <laughs> what I'm... The Burbs was pretty good. Uh, guys, what movie was he in that's... Splash. Movie? Big. Was he in Splash? Danny wins. Danny's the only one that knows we yeah, saw. was in Splash. I was yes, going to say Toy Story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Big, Big is the good. one. You know, it's Vicky, Toy Story is not on this list, and I think that's highly rewatchable. You're right. Oh, that... it's 28 on the list. Oh, okay. So it, it bubbled under the top 25. Oh, somebody brought up a good one. What about Basic Instinct? I know there's a scene that has been rewatched many times when I was a kid. Half baked while fully baked. How about Friday is number 13? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, uh, that's pretty good. I, I, Caddyshack is number four. I am surprised it still holds up for people that they will rewatch that. Yeah, I have a lot of buddies, though, that love quoting that movie. I like Caddyshack. I'm more of a Caddyshack 2 kind of guy. What is with you watching, like, the number two movies that are not the better ones? Because that's when they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Breaking I, I, 2, Electric Boogaloo. I don't know what to do yep. with you anymore. 
Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, there's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and, and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or, or bankruptcy. Uh, there's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney. And right, my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy. My job is to help you to, to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, what benefits it's going to have for you, and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com.